Welcome back to another tutorial. Yes, in the 24 hour, 24 day image creation marathon brought to you by who else? Instagraphics. That's my company where I teach you to create standout images quickly and easily on your iPhone, iPad, or computer. Yes, I'm your host, Grace Taylor Siegel, and I want to thank you for being here. Oh, I know you're busy. I'm busy. Everybody's busy these days. I'm really honored. <laughs> I actually am that you took the time to stop, watch my video, and learn a few things uh, spending this time with me. And I, I really am doing my very best to make it worthwhile for you. So let's, uh, let's take a look and get designing. Today we're going to be exploring an app called Font Candy. Yum. <laughs> now, all the apps that I'm demonstrating are for the iPhone and most are also for the iPad. I am going to be incorporating information, uh, some videos for you Android users out there at some point in the future, as soon as I can. But for now, I'm focusing on apps and programs for the Apple devices because that's what I have. And one more thing before we get started. No, I always say this, but I just want to remind you that because of the way I'm recording the videos, you can't see my fingers on the phone of on the screen of the phone. Uh, you can only see the actions that occur as a result of my touching the screen with my fingers. So I just want to remind you of that, and it's not like a ghost or anything. It's my fingers that are moving these the screen, the images, the tools, just like you will when you touch the screen to use these apps also. All right, so um, this is, we're gonna get started. I just wanna show you the final image. That's weird. I wanna show you my final image here. There we go my favorites and I'm going to find that final image and you can see I'm a real scaredy cat because all I do is have all of these I want to see you be brave be brave 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 uh, but you know there's something to be said for bravery even in our everyday lives and you know the little things that you have to get over the the big things that you have to get over you know and I know it's just a part of life. So I want to see you be brave. I want to see me be brave. And uh, so this is the app that I, this is the uh, image that I created with this app. Font Candy, it, it's, it's, it, what it, it does is, it, in case you didn't notice, it, it superimposes, or how would you say it? It, you, you give it an image and it, creates a you know and you put words in it I mean, in a way it's like word photo it's just sort of a different application it will cut out from your background it will put that image into the words that you give it and the truth is that uh, there are other apps that do this now there didn't used to be as many um, but you know Sometimes I just like going to the ones that I know, the ones that I'm used to, and those that I think yeah, they do a, a good job. You know, I call them one trick ponies, that's what they are. So I'm sorry, I'm distracting myself here. I, what I need to do is I need to go to my photo library right here. And I just can't seem to do that. There we go. And what I, I need to pick a background. Now you can pick a photo. I just chose this sort of, you know, interesting little uh, graphic um, and I'm going to choose a square cut and I'm going to go up. You could also do three quarters like this. Um, I like to do the square cut. I think it, it's, it works better on, on more platforms. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go up in the corner and uh, touch that check mark and now here I am in the app and so I want to put some words in there and you see it's giving me 
and then I just pasted. I had already copied the, the phrase that I wanted to use and I may need to see what I'm doing is I'm touching the screen so that I could get into the copy because I'm pretty sure it's I'm gonna need it. Remember how it was broken into three lines? Pretty sure that's the way it needs to be. So I don't know if I use this font or not. I can't recall. Let's change the font. And the one thing that I want to tell you about this, it makes sense. You want kind of a fat font, right? Because if you choose a little font like that, you're not going to get the same effect, but you can see you're going to get a whole different deal where you're going to have some copy on top of a background rather than the background sort of inserted into your font. And this, I tried this. Oh, it's just a mess. It's too, too scripty. This kind of thing works well. That would probably work well. Um, that is hard to read, but see, it's wide. So that's what you're looking for is something wide like that. Is that what I used? I think that's what I used, huh? Yeah, that looks right. But it has quite a few choices here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with, with this one. So I'm going to uh, press that white check mark there on the right side of the screen in the as, towards the center. And then I'm going to check it again. And what I'm doing now is I'm trying to resize this. This must not be the same font because see, oh, well, I guess. Yeah, maybe it is. All right, so here we are, and I want to flip that. It's not really going to the default, I think, because I was in here before. Okay, I'm going back because for some reason when I brought the image into the app, it didn't behave the way it usually does, and I want you to see the way it, you know, what it typically does. So when you bring the, the your background in, this is the way it's going to look. And I'm going to double tap this, as it said, and I'm going to paste my phrase, and then I'm going to hit that check mark in the center of the page, and you can see that that's basically what my image was. Now, so I want to show you the tools. If you go uh, here, then you can pick the background. You can get a little bit of color. And I, I've kind of decided that I like that darker background. Uh, there's a couple of backgrounds here too that I like. But I'm going to go with that black because I think that really looks great. Okay, so now I'm gonna to go to the next tool on the very bottom, the third one over there with the sliders. And this just helps you to, you know, without squeezing, you know, pinching and pulling with your fingers on the screen, this gives you some tools where you can be a little more accurate. Look how you can even get the letters a little bit further apart. You can get them, you know, greater space between them. Very nice. And then this icon, so the greater space to, between them is the far left that's moving up and down. The one that makes them larger or smaller is the slider on the top. And then the one that makes the letters wider, that's that second slider. And then you can see there's a little, you can see me tapping it, that there's it it's the justification so that way you can put it in the center that was justified this is left justified and then this is in the center which is you know that looks the best 
So you can see the background that I brought in, that's inside the letters. And then, you know, there, there's a background. Now, if we, Go back to, to press the F and this is sort of the home screen for the, the editing and we take this slider across the top <laughs> we're not going to be able to see anything at all <laughs> depending on what colors you have this slider can actually just change the look of the image and fade the background out or in but because I have this black it's uh, it, it it pretty much doesn't work. So anyway, I uh, I hope you like font candy. I like it a lot. It 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 does the one thing. I think it does it pretty well. Uh, it it's easy to use, and I love these images. Uh, you know that have the the fonts with with my background uh, popped into them. That's that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna save this. And once again, I'm just choosing our good friend, the little box with the arrow. And I'm going to save it to my camera roll. That's what that means, that first one on the left. And look, that great big green check mark tells me that it has worked. And, uh, you know, the usual places that you can send it and share it are right down there at the bottom. So now you know a little bit more about this app called Font Candy. And you have a better idea about whether, uh, you know, whether you want to invest in it or not. I'll look real quick. Uh, see. This is the PDF and Font Candy is free and $2.99. There's Font Candy and there's Font Candy Plus. And Font Candy Plus just gives you more fonts, more options. Um, you can add symbols, emojis, that kind of thing. So you can, you know, you can really get fancy with this little app. Um, remember, there's this free PDF that you just saw. That is available to you at no cost for this app and every app in this marathon. You can find that on my website at instagraphics.biz forward slash marathon. Uh, if you'd like to join my Facebook group, the link to join is on that marathon page. And every page on my website has the email sign up. So sign up for that and I'll send you a PDF list of my top six apps as well as links to everything that I've talked about. And if you have a chance, just please like these videos over here because it, it will really encourage me and, and maybe get some other people to watch them too. I will be holding a contest. Uh, I, I'm going to announce the details soon, I promise. The prize is every app in the marathon, all 24. Now I'll be announcing the details very soon, as I said, so please sign up somewhere. I just don't want you to miss out on that. Now thanks again for being here. This has been fun and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for image number 19 and that is called Rookie. So long for now. Make it a great day.